Hello, welcome back to Madam No Shamsia Biology video. Today's topic is on Biology Form 5 KSSM, Chapter 9, Ecosystem, 9.2 Population Ecology and we will concentrating on population distribution today. The content standard for today's lesson is 9.2 Population Ecology. The learning standard is 9.2.1 Describe the factors that affecting population distribution. Now, we are going to see some of the important terminology that is used in this chapter. First, what is population ecology? Population ecology is a branch of ecology that study the interaction between the population and its surrounding, meaning uh, to its environment. Next, what is population then? Okay, so population is a group of organism of the same species which live in the same habitat. Right? And what is population distribution? Population distribution will show how the organism of the same species are able to spread out in their habitat. Now, we are going to see the factors that affect the population distribution of plants. First, temperature. Why? Okay, the optimal temperature for plant growth is between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Because at high temperature, the enzyme in plant will denature. There are many life processes in plants depend on enzyme. So when the enzyme denatured, the processes will be disrupted. Among those is photosynthesis. Okay, whereas in low temperature, it will cause the enzyme activity to slow down. So, go back to the optimum temperature just now. It should be between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Next is pH of soil. Okay, a plant is not suitable to live in the soil which is too acidic or too alkaline. Okay, because it will cause the absorption of nutrient will be lesser. Next is uh, mineral salt content. Okay. Mineral salts are actually needed for plant growth. For example, the one that you have learned before is nitrate, phosphorus and many more. Whereas high salt content in the soil will cause the plant to lose more water through osmosis. Okay. Next factor is water. As you know, water is needed for enzyme activities, photosynthesis and also to support herbaceous plant. And the last one is of course light. All plants require light to do photosynthesis. Now, we look at the factors that affecting the population distribution of animals. First is temperature. Normally, the place or the area which are exposed to high temperature, less animals will be living there. Or extreme too cold temperature also will be less inhabited by certain animals. Okay, I take example for the place which is high in temperature. Normally, the place which is high in temperature, we cannot find the animals like snails. Okay. Next one is of course, food supply. Okay. As you can see in this picture, the picture of N there, if there are a lot of food, definitely the animals will be gathered at that place. Next is water. You can see 
the photo of zebra there. Okay, area with the water sources will be inhabited by animals, especially for drinking purposes. And then the last one is breeding site. Okay, a safe and suitable breeding site is important for the animals to raise their offspring. The one, uh, the all the factors that I have mentioned in this slide and also in the previous slide are all abiotic components that affect the population distribution of plant and animals. Abiotic components meaning the non-living components. Now we look at the three patterns of population distribution. Population distribution patterns can be divided into three types that are clump, random and uniform. We are going to see one by one. The first one is clump. In clump pattern of population distribution, the organism tend to cluster where the resources are available. Look at the picture. You can see the elephants gather in the place where they can find water okay so you can see in the box here how the organism okay uh, cluster together so this one we call as clump pattern population distribution okay next is random random is where the organism are distributed in a free pattern there are no specific pattern for example you can see in the picture there uh, the population of dandelions. Okay, they are all over the field there. Okay, that one we call as random pattern of population distribution. And the last one is uniform. Normally, for uniform pattern of population distribution, uh, we can find it in an orchard because normally the farmer will plant. Uh, the, the the plants in a uniform manner okay and the resources are available e evenly okay so in this uniform pattern of distribution the organism are evenly distributed now we try to do one question on this topic okay look at the picture the picture shows the population of Laterum salicaria population. The question is, what type of pattern Laterum salicaria population shows? Explain one factor that may affect Laterum salicaria population distribution. Can you think of an answer? I help you this time. Okay, so now we look at the answer. The pattern of population distribution is clump. Remember, we have three types of pattern and this one shows clump distribution. One here and one here. Okay, so one factor that may affect the distribution of Laterium salicaria, okay, maybe it is water because you can see the water resources is here. Okay, uh, water, why? Because water is needed for enzyme activities especially if you remember photosynthesis and photosynthesis is needed for plant growth if you want more question there is a link i put below the video okay at the more info section just click the link and you'll get the quiz on this topic try it We have come to the end of this subtopic video. Don't forget to try the quiz and please click the subscribe button for more biology video to come. Till then, bye-bye.